Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we are going to be doing visors. I'm going to be adding HTV onto a visor. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it um, and also just to talk about some tips here and there. Uh, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed already, please do and I, you know, of course, appreciate all the support that I can get. Okay, so my daughter is on a softball team first season, so of course, you know, I'm always worried about sun care. <laughs> so I offered to make the hats. I figured I'm gonna offer it to the team as well because I know I'm actually totally into peer pressure in this way. <laughs> if all her teammates are wearing visors, then we're all wearing visors. Um, all right, uh, well, the first tip that I have is if you don't have a hat press, and I, you know, the funny thing is I do have a hat attachment for my heat press, but my heat press just died on me. So we are doing it this way, which is kind of good because you get to see uh, too, like if you don't have all the tools, how you would do this. All right, um, so I've got a towel. I'm gonna roll up, you know, you wanna roll up your towel so that it gives you the support. And then you're just gonna wrap the hat, the visor around like this. Uh, so the first thing that you may have noticed is the white outline. Anytime that you want something to be legible, having that offset really does help make the whole thing so much easier to read. So this is the narwhals. I've got initials on one side. I've got the, the number, the jersey number on the other side, and it's super cute. Um, just picture 10, six and seven year old girls all wearing matching visors and matching socks. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So the first tip is, you know, again, with the offset, I love, I mean, anytime that you can have a white offset, it really just makes everything pop and so much easier to read. Now in design space, I'm going to, I haven't done that tutorial yet, but the way I did it was I sliced out, um, here, I'll show you, I'll bring it back. I sliced out the, the blue from the white. So you'll see what that looks like here. And the reason why I did that is I, you know, it's, I went with white glitter, so it's kind of puffy. And then I really didn't want glitter on glitter, um, just because it gets, it gets really puff, puffy and I don't know how well it's going to stay on there. Not that we really wash our visors so much, um, but I don't know, these girls are kind of rough and tough and who knows? So that's why I sliced it out. So you can kind of see right now, I'm pulling, I'm weeding it while we're talking. And this, I am using Polytape HTV. I love it because it actually is thinner than some of the other brands. So when I go to cut, I actually do not choose the glitter, the glitter HTV setting. I actually choose just regular vinyl, um, iron on vinyl. So here is what it's going to look like. So we're going to do the narwhals in white first. So the first option is we just do it like this. So I'm, like I said, I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. So let me grab the visor. Um, stick the visor down. I'm going to cut off that tag so that we just have more space and I don't have to worry about it. Um, I also have a Teflon sheet so that I don't want to burn my hat or my HTV when I go to layer it. So I had measured this earlier so that I knew it was gonna take up almost the whole space so it's easy to line up. Um, I wanted to make sure that the words, the, the HTV doesn't hit the stitching at all so it's fully in the middle. Uh, so I made sure that it fit there. So all right, I've got it on three bars and I'm just gonna start pressing from one end to a, the other end. And the nice thing is you can, um, when I move this heat press, the mini, you can see the carrier sheet is popping up. So it's adhering, the white glitter is, you know, attaching itself, bonding itself to the visor, and then this part just peels up. But our visor is on a curved surface, so you can kind of see. I'm just gonna pull this off. So I'm pressing it down because 
we added heat to this thing so it's sticky on the other side so i'm kind of pushing it down just so that it can adhere and then i'm just going to put this and i'm going to add a little bit more heat before i put my blue down all right so here's the blue layer and the first the first way is putting down the white and then putting the blue in the second way that i'm going to show you and the second way is an option but not always an option which is to place the blue in the white and press it at the same time the reason why you might want to do that is everything gets the same amount of heat so that no no color gets more heat than the other and then it all goes down at the same time so um it's just easier to line up they're already there I'm just weeding out the middle part. Now, like I said, that's not always feasible because if you have a very complicated design, you're not gonna wanna do that. So I'm almost done. Okay, here we go. So here's the inside. And because the visor's on a curved surface, it might be easier to do, like to cut it up. So for instance, I'm gonna do the NAR first. Make this a little bit like that. So you see that fits totally in there. I'm gonna move that and I'm putting this down. The reason why I'm putting it down is because the blue, the transfer sheet that has the blue, the dark blue glitter HTV on it, it's smaller than the white part. So if I didn't put this um, Teflon sheet down, my heat would be applied directly onto the white glitter. So you definitely don't want that. Looking good, right? The nice, the other nice thing about um, Polytapes HTV is it doesn't shrink. So when I'm putting this down, if there's a if if it doesn't fit completely, I would say it's more user error. It's not because the HTV shrunk and your offset is is wrong now. So I've done quite a few. So I'll show you. I mean, you can see I've done a few already. So I've gotten gotten some practice with this. And I'm gonna press it again. Right now, I really just wanna be able to get enough down so that I can continue. Oh, what happened here? Oh, this shifted a little bit. My A is gonna be weird, but that's okay. I'm gonna put this down. And yeah, so I don't know what I did right there, but it's at a curve and it shifted a little bit and I didn't notice, so. Um, but it's okay because I'm gonna put the A down the A will be fine and the S is fine It's just the L the L has so I'm gonna pull it out and just put the L down to see if I can make it work better Because it did shift and then I'm just gonna do that and that will make it better. Okay, so that's all down. I'm gonna move my fingers So you can see just by um cutting it up into pieces it just gave me more options. If I had put it all down um, with this curve, I I think my mistake would have been more noticeable. Okay, let's see. Trying to move it around okay so it looks pretty good right but again it, it was much easier to do it um, with cutting it up into sections so I'm gonna hold it like this just to give it just to give it a tighter so that I can push down so now that everything is down and not shifting I'm gonna apply the full heat to it Now, 
Now, um, I'm gonna show you the second way of doing it. There was a third way that I experimented and it was not good. So <laughs> I'll talk about that in just a second. So you know how the this way, the first way that we're doing it, I did the white background first and then the blue, right? The third way, I did the blue first and that was that was just not good. It, it was really hard to line up with the white. All right, I just wanted to make sure it's all down. So there we have it, narwhals, so cute. Um, the side is a lot easier because it's just, you know, like the initials. So I'm gonna show you, this is the number I believe, yep. You wanna pick a font that's easy to read and is easy to read as well as easy to apply. So nothing delicate right now um, or intricate. So I'm going to put this down over here. This girl has the coolest initials ever. Um, I'm going to put this down. She's Quinn, and I love QX. I think that is such a cool set of initials. All right, let's see. So I'm just making sure that nothing's lifting. I'm gonna, let's do this side. I'm gonna put the one down. Okay. And same thing on this side. I made sure that it didn't hit the threading at all and it was inside the visor. <gasps> oh man, totally ripped off. I think we're okay because it's white glitter for one. I'll put it down. <laughs> well, I can't say mistakes don't happen. Okay, that still looks pretty good. Now we're gonna apply the heat and it should all kind of like melt and get and settle down. It should be fine. It wasn't even that thin. I can't believe that just happened. Okay, but nothing surprises me anymore. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So there's number one. Narwhals, initials, visor done. All right, I'm gonna move this one aside. We're gonna do the next one. So the next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna weed it first. So we're gonna pull this off. Oops. And this font is called Birthday Balloons. I will look it up to see where I got it from, but I think think it's from Creative Fabrica. So if you're gonna go use Creative Fabrica, make sure you use my link. You get 30% off if you use the Useless Crafter 30. And I do love my Creative Fabrica. Um, I just had a one-on-one -on -one Zoom today with a student and with a crafter, and we were talking about why I love Creative Fabrica. Um, I love the font selection, and I love Font Cloud. So if you don't know about those two, I do have a video on it. Oops, I was saving these just in case. These are such good letters. I'm not really sure when I will ever use it again. <laughs> and it just reminds me of Wordle. Are you guys playing Wordle? Um, Narwhal is not the most used letters, right? <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, so we've got that. So this is only I think would only work if you had an easy design like this one where the letters are kind of chunky so you know they're not delicate letters I'm just gonna put them in and so it gets heated at the same time gets applied at the same time um,
and I will say I did this for my dot for the first one that I did and it's nice to know that the material is getting the same amount of heat and it's the same type of material so they're both you know um, glitter HTV so but again if this was thinner or more detailed I wouldn't do it but because I can on this one I'm just gonna show you what that looks like and you can see I haven't done too many hats I mean I've done or visors I've done this many so it's not like I've gotten a ton of practice on this particular design so we'll see you can tell me which one you thought I had an easier time with So we're almost done. So when I first did this, the design only had the blue narwhals, like in the blue. I went to go put it on the hat and it just kind of, um, like surprisingly, it blended in with the light blue. Like I thought it would be, when I picked it, I put the, blue HTV against this and I'm like, oh, it's totally gonna stand out. But without the white outline, it actually did not stand out that well. So, all right, I've got that one. Let me pull the next visor up and this will be the last one that we do. Okay, and the Teflon sheet is on my Amazon shop and I highly recommend it. I like it too, like it comes in this gigantic um, sheet, so you can just slice it up. I do have one that I keep on there for like any time that I'm pressing like a black shirt or something. I want any part of that shirt that is getting heat to be covered. There's something about black and like red shirts. Oops, whoa, my letter is coming off. So you wanna make sure that you push down on the sticky part so that the blue stays. and then line it up. And then start to apply heat. So you can see why this is more work in the front end, but when we go to apply it, the Teflon sheet will be at the end after I lift off the carrier sheet. Like right now, this is, you know, you're pressing and you're getting both of them down. The other tip that I have for HTV that you might not know is HTV has a cure time. So you should not be washing anything immediately. So apply the HTV, let it cure for two days, and then you can wash it if you want to. But for me, because um, I take everything to the extreme, um, I'll cure it for a couple more days just to make sure <laughs> so that it's it anchors itself you don't get any water in there and it's got time to stick so definitely I feel like on this one it was a lot easier to do that at one time and then now I'm just pressing down and applying heat and pressure as much as I can and I know that both uh, both the blue and the white are on there perfectly There you have it. All right, comments, questions, things you wanna see, let me know. I will be posting this and uh, you, I'll have them face down so that the faces won't show. Um, and you could see 10 girls in 10 cute little visors. <laughs> All right, see you guys next time.